Before we met, I was a kid who didn't know what he wanted to do, where he wanted to go next, or what his purpose even was. I came to Australia looking for something, but not having any idea what that something was. It turns out I didn't have to. You were the one that found me. to find in a husband and so much more. You make my heart explode even now after over nine years together. I still get butterflies when I see you, especially when you come back from the barber. You are such an amazing person and I'm so thankful and lucky that you took a chance as a Canadian backpacker on a hardcore vegan Australian girl such as myself. friend my soulmate. Through all of my travels, my favorite place in the world will always be next to you wherever we choose to go. And because you've made public your love, it allows me to say the words I love to say. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And you may kiss your bride, Ira. Sometime in his Byron Bay experience, he met Bella, and the rest, as they say, is history. To this day, whenever some, someone back home asks me, whatever happened to Ira? I simply say, he went for a vacation and never came back. If you don't know Ira, he is really great and he's going to treat Bella awesome. They're going to have an awesome life together. Don't worry about that. They're one of those couples that you know it's going to last. So. Congratulations! <laughs> Knowing Bella and Ira, like any relationship, they've had their hardships, but they have always come out of any tough situation stronger than ever. They both are like big kids together, always looking on the bright side and chasing the fun in life, living it to its fullest. Here's to the bride and the groom, always shining bright for the years to come. Yeah.